The next rig I'm going to show you is the sunken float paternoster. And this is a very simple rig, just the same. All pike fishing is fairly simple. The simpler you, you can keep your fishing, the more you catch generally. Okay, so what I've done here is this float will actually be under the water. It won't be on the top. We won't be watching it for a take. It'll be under the water supporting the bait. And let me explain how we do that. First of all, we put a stop knot there so that the bead goes up there. Okay, the bead flows up to that. That will be set at the depth We'll set it, which I'll talk about later. Then we've got the sunken float paternoster. It doesn't need to be pretty colours. It's going to be under the water. It doesn't need to be red or, or any colour that might even attract the pike. So it's a, a black colour, so that's under the water like so. That comes down to another swivel, uh, uh, sorry, another bead that comes down that'll stop it going onto the swivel. Then we've got an up trace. There we go. And the reason we've got an up trace is there's the, the, the trace there that we're going to put the fish on. That will swim round. And generally, in a lot of cases, in a lot of cases, the fish will swim up like so. It swims up like so, like this. Now you just imagine, when it's in that position, a pike takes, grabs hold of the fish, and then he's got line. In this case, he's got wire, so you don't get a bite off. That's very important. That's for the safety of the fish. So that's there. We've got an up trace. We've got a trace, and then off it, we've got a paternoster, a fixed paternoster. These traces are specially made so you can clip on the up trace, and then the swivel sticking out there, you can drop the fixed paternoster, a piece of line like so, with a bomb on like so. What I then tend to do as well is just up from that I tend to put an overhead, uh, a granny knot, an overhand knot like so, so that's a weak link. So if that does get caught in a snag while you're playing a fish it'll break off there very easily. They've just of the, the breaking strain of that, that's probably six pound line, it's now gone to three. Now we're going to set the bait up uh, on the sunken float paternoster. All you do, top hook, look, just under the dorsal fin, just there. And then the next hook, just under the fin there, just underneath. So it's hanging horizontal like so. There you go. And that will be the float. will hold it in position above weed, like so. Or if it's a live bait, just in position so it doesn't keep swimming out, out of the position. Because sometimes, you've got a hot spot that you want, although they're not feeding, you want that bait held in that spot, waiting for the pike to feed. The amount of times that pike will actually see a bait go in, but it might be two hours, it might be even five hours, whatever, before they actually take the bait. And if it's a hot spot, and you know that's where the pike are, it's no good having your bait drifting out all the time. You want it to sit in there, and sooner or later the pike's gonna go, I love you. Okay, let's send it out. Good method, this, a real good method. There you go. Lovely. And on this one, because we haven't got the float as an indication, what I'm going to do is set it onto an alarm at the front, show the speed of the take, and then I'm going to put onto the, the bobbin, the Pike Pro bobbin, like so. In we go. There we go. And when we get a take, the float's holding it in position, and then we're going to get a take, and all we're going to get is we'll turn the bob in, the uh, indicator on. There we go. There's the take, and there's the take. And it'll tell you the speed of the take is that. That comes off, and there's the speed of the take, and hopefully a big pike. There you go. Great method that, sunken float paternoster. Really good method. The amount of times that, that bait doesn't actually, sort of, if it's a live bait, it will be going up like this all the time in the right area. And if it's a dead bait, especially above weed, if you've got like a foot of weed, especially sort of September, October, November, you're just coming out the summer, you've got weed like this, you can set that paternoster so that, that that's going in, the paternoster's going into the weed, and there you've got a sprat or a herring or whatever hung just six inches above it. Pike sitting in the weed probably, 
He sees it coming, he doesn't drift away. He's sitting there an hour, two hours later, boom, takes it. Great way of catching bike. When I arrive at a venue, this is how I arrive. I've got it all set up. I've got the stop knot short like that, and then I'm down to the paternoster. But if you look, I've got the up trace in place, but I've actually got no trace on with the hooks. So all I do then is sling it out and keep bringing the stop nut up until I've actually found the depth. Now then, once I've found the depth, I can now decide where I'm going to set the float and where the, in relationship to the, to the bait. So if that's 12 foot deep, say, so right, okay, let's set it down at sort of like seven foot, seven or eight foot the float. So it's probably four or five foot down under the water. That gives, to me, a better bite indication. Instead of the line going straight up in deep water, the line will be going down to that float. So instead of going out up to sort of 10, 11, 12, 14, 15 foot, it'll be going down to seven foot. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do then is once I've set that depth, all I need to do now is put the wire trace on and put the bait on and cast out. And that will hold, that will hold the bait up in position, but the bait above the weed, if, you, if you're fishing above weed, it'll hold the bait above the weed, or if it's a live bait, it'll hold in position against wind that might be taking it out of position all the time. You can hold a bait in one spot. Sometimes fish want it moving, Sometimes I want it stationary.